Hello, I am Murli Dhar Pai, Professor of Obstetrics and Gynecology, Kasturba Medical College, Manipal, Manipal University. Yes, the incidence of twins has been in the textbooks given as 1 in 80 all over the world. But over the years, it has changed because of the advent of IVF ET, where more embryos are transferred in a given time. So the incidence varies from place to place, again, according to the presence of an IVF center in, the, in your vicinity. It was very difficult in the olden days before the advent of ultrasound to diagnose twins. We had to resort to x-rays up to the, we had to wait until 16 to 20 weeks of time. It has also happened in the past that sometimes the twins were missed as late as second stage of labor. People have realized that after the delivery of first baby, that something else is coming and that is the second twin. But after the ultrasound, it has become very easy. We can diagnose twins as early as five weeks by transvaginal sonography. In fact, it is best that we diagnose in the early part of pregnancy where we can also make out whether it is just twins or what is the chorionicity, what is the amniocity of the twins as well. We can also diagnose the anomalies possible. We can diagnose the conjoint twins as early as that. Twin pregnancy is complicated right from the word go. Right from the first trimester, there are complications. In fact, twin is the pregnancy where there are all complications that are there in obstetrics. For example, in first trimester, there can be hyperemesis gravidarum. There can be increased incidence of abortions. Come to second trimester, there can be anemia, preeclampsia, diabetes, and preterm labor, and then the malpresentations. And after delivery also, there can be complications such as postpartum hemorrhage. And in the postnatal period, there can be uh, anemia again and lack of breast milk for the babies and then infections. Obviously, it is not same. There are two babies and we have to take care of both the babies. It also depends upon the relative weights. One baby may be bigger, one baby may be smaller. And also relative positions. One baby may be transverse lie, one baby may be longitudinal lie. So the decision depends upon actually the gestational age of the babies, their relative weights, the relative positions, and always the second baby is at more risk of you know, complications such as fetal distress, there can be sudden uh, separation of the placenta after the delivery of first baby, there can be bleeding happening, the second baby may change the position because after the delivery of first baby there is suddenly more space in the uterus. So the decision has to be taken based on all these factors which I mentioned. The decision making is not really exactly difficult but it can be tricky at times. So we have to have the exact knowledge about the twins, how they have failed throughout the pregnancy and what is the current size of the babies. It is better to have an ultrasound machine in the labor room and then we have to see their relative positions and then we have to take a decision based on all the other factors. For example, if they are in the same sac, monoamnetic twins, it is straight away for section. Similarly, if the first baby is transverse life, it is straight away for section. We don't have to wait. Conjoined twins, nowadays it is very rare because we can diagnose them early and we will uh, not allow them to grow. But if it is seen, then again they require a caesarean section. If the relative weight of the second baby is less than 1500 grams or less, or if it is 20% more than the first baby, that is also better to go for caesarean section. Sometimes after the delivery of the first baby, we are met with surprises. The second baby can suddenly change its position and then we have to have an ultrasound in the labor room, see whether it has changed the position. If it has changed the position, the options that we can do the external cephalic version or we can do the internal portal version if you have the expertise. But sometimes if that fails, we have to take up for an emergency caesarean section. So it's difficult. One has to be very careful, one has to be prudent and a senior obstetrician is always required uh, to handle the twin cases. The mortality rates have come down over the years, uh, but the twins obviously will have slightly more mortality compared to the singleton pregnancies for all the complications which I explained. And uh, they can have a postpartum hemorrhage that also can be one of the problems. So it is slightly more compared to singleton pregnancies. Not really. Twins actually, when they were followed up uh, after, the, after their birth, Depending upon the discordancy they had, even though they shared the same genetic material, if there was an intrauterine fetal growth retardation, 
those babies can have problems like any other retarded, retarded babies.